The LEGO Dungeons & Dragons set, Red Dragon's Tail, has been officially revealed. Here are five major takeaways from this set. 1. There's a lot of monsters. The highlight is of course the massive red dragon, which looks excellent as a classic D&D boss, with tons of spikes and scales covering its body. The shaping of the legs and the wing design are the standouts for me. The only downside for me is that it's hard to see where the dragon's eyes actually are. But in addition to the dragon, we also get an owlbear, a displacer beast, a gelatinous cube, and a beholder. Both the owlbear and the displacer beast seem a bit blocky and disproportionate, but it's not obvious how they should be improved. The beholder is great though, and the gelatinous cube is solid, though I really wish they'd made the bottom plate transparent as well. There's also a small mimic included, that looks pretty good, especially for the small size. 2. The build is intricate, but cramped. There's a lot going on, and the small space isn't very conducive to a sense of realism. A lot of the spaces, such as the tavern, the dungeon, and the tower, feel a little too tight. The tower is more of a facade at the top than a full tower, which I find a bit disappointing. There's this great dragon throne, but other than that, the interiors seem a bit lackluster. That said, the exterior detailing is great, from the crumbling tower stones to the foliage at the base of the castle. We get some really cool stickers for extra detailing, and there are also six new door pieces, so that's great for mock builders. 3. The minifigures are few, but excellent. The dwarf and the dragonborn are near perfect in my opinion, and none of the others are obviously bad. The torso and leg prints are all highly detailed and should be great for making custom minifigs as well. The only shame is that there aren't more. The set does include three skeletons, which definitely helps, but it does feel a little bare nonetheless. 4. There are a ton of accessories. This is great for any D&D adventure, and some of the parts are new and unique such as the Displacer Beast shield and the Beholder shield. Both of those could make excellent small factions. There's also the Dwarf's Gold Shoulder Armor and the Pearl Grey Evil Knight Helm, both of which should be on Take a Brick soon and I can't wait to equip my armies with them. The set also has a number of spellbooks and magical artifacts to discover. 5. The price is a serious barrier. $360 is just a lot of money, and while the parts per piece seems to justify it, I don't think a lot of LEGO or D&D fans will be willing to shell out the money for this. If you do want to buy it, do so when you can pick up this Mimic gift with purchase, or just wait to buy the minifigs off Bricklink and save your money. As a big D&D fan myself, I'm very excited about this set and I can't wait to build it, but it's probably not for everyone. Let me know what you think, and as always, have a great day.